South African elephants may roam great distances, but they're still limited by the fences and boundaries that keep them in and their greatest enemy, humans, out. To prevent them from outgrowing the pockets of land set aside for them, their numbers need to be managed carefully. The main concern, I think, with increasing elephant populations is what they're going to do to the, the environment or the habitat that they are confined to. So they need to be controlled. The impact on the environment is far greater than, than other species. A current management favorite is immunocontraception. It's called the pill for elephants. But in reality, it's a vaccine, different to the hormone-based contraception method that was previously tested with disastrous results. Following trials in the Kruger National Park, the first wild elephants were vaccinated with the US-developed immunocontraceptive in 2000. Now, more than a dozen reserves have signed on. We're talking today of about uh, 300 elephants in total that we're doing at the moment. But the total population in all those reserves is probably going to be in the region of about 600. Immunocontraception is just one in a range of population management options. But experts like JJ van Altena swear by it. It's a proactive uh, option. Proactive, safe and reversible management option for controlling elephant numbers which is ultimately what we're all after. The vaccine stimulates antibodies that prevent impregnation. The practice is humane, painless, and doesn't affect the elephant's behavior. So, how does it work? 60 millimeters of the vaccine are loaded into a dart gun. Females are identified. A harmless bright pink marking fluid is released indicating which elephants have already been darted. The immunocontraceptive is released immediately and, in a matter of hours, the dart falls out. It is 100% effective when applied in a population, provided that you can inoculate each cow three times and then follow up with an annual booster. While immunocontraception has proved to be a good way of controlling populations, it's not a silver bullet. Managing elephant impacts is very different than managing elephants. If I stop an elephant breeding now, it doesn't stop eating. Every single place is unique and needs to be approached that way. It's not going to just be a one, one size fits all. There are many ways to control elephant populations, but immunocontraception has shown very promising results. Wildlife management experts started the practice 13 years ago. In that time, they've seen significant and sustained reductions in herd numbers. That means the existing elephants get to live a life of plenty, and the ecosystems through which they roam get time to recover from their onslaught. Diana Neal, Johannesburg. News that moves. ENCA.com.